Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm going to show you my self-built power supply. I've made two of them. Let me begin with this one. Normally when I do tests, uh, you see me uh, using a Variag, a uh, bridge rectifier and a meters panel. I decided to put all of them in one box very nicely. This side is the DC side. This side is the AC. Output AC, output DC. I have a main switch and I can switch the AC side and the DC side and of course I can switch both of them at the same time use both of them if I want to depending on the test or alternate them and here you can see the knob of the Variac I can turn it very simple but this makes my life more uh, practical and easy to do all kinds of testing I need to do that's one of them. Then I made also another one, a larger one. Um, this one is the is for upstairs. This one is going to stay down here. But I have a lot of other tests I sometimes want to do, but I don't want to come down here. So this one is basically the same, but uh, multi-optional. This side is the DC side. This side is also the DC side these two sides are the same they are uh, to around 30 volt DC and lower this side is also a DC side this one over here but this one goes to uh, 220 volts DC I have here a 20 volts I am waiting for the 220 volts DC this side is a AC as you can see I have here a 200, uh, maybe you can't see it, 200 volt AC and I have here a Variac, it's also not a Variac this one is rated only 200 watts which is for me way more than enough I uh, never gone, gone above uh, 100 watts I think in all my testing so for me it's more than enough so I have a main switch which switch everything on but uh, I have more switches of course I can switch the EC, the high EC side on the high DC side I can switch it off of course I can switch over here the uh, lower DC side I have a 1 amp scale and a 3 amp scale I can switch them uh, apart from each other one at a time that goes also for this side this switch is for the 3M scale, this switch is for the 1M scale and this knob over here, the same as here behind it there's a uh, buck converter DC to DC because I have in there also a transformer uh, that have an output around uh, I think it was 24, yeah 24 volt on the secondary it is being uh, rectified and the DC converter is on it so with this knob, it's very fine tuning, I can tune that voltage and these panels, that's one side and also this side, I can use everything at once and every one of them, one at a time and this very egg is for mainly for these two over here for high voltage, high AC voltage side and a high DC voltage and I've here the knob, I can turn it very nice variac, very small bought them second hand but uh, they're working pretty good and of course here I have 30 volt DC 220 volt AC 220 volt DC and 30 volt DC this one is going in upstairs because like I said I have many many ideas I still have to uh, use but I want to have a uh, nice power supply with a lot of options and yes you can buy power supply but they are very expensive for 100, 100 euros or 200 euros you have nothing special for me to buy a power supply with all these options it's gonna cost me a few thousand euros and this one I built it around 75 euros which is around 80 dollars and this one in total yeah also the same 75 80 dollars most of the stuff I had already laying around put these on uh, aluminum uh, profiles just to um, 
uh, so the sides don't get damaged. Haven't put it here yet. I didn't have enough of them, so anyway, just some handles over here to pick them up. Anyway, I think you get the idea. Uh, so now I'm finally done making them. One more thing inside here, there's only a variac and of course a bridge rectifier for the DC side. In here I have a variac, a step down transformer to step in my main which is 230 volts to 24 volts for the two the low side DC and of course the variac for the high AC and high DC. I have in there also two uh, in here two bridge rectifiers on the back there's the input and of course a heatsink for the rectifier same goes for this side for this one input and the heatsink on the all side for the rectifier but the heatsink doesn't get hot at all because like I said I normally don't go beyond 50 or 60 watts anyway hope you enjoy it and as always thank you for watching